It's October 30th, 2020. The concrete truck has been here. When filling a small cavity, it's really hard to nail the quantity right. So this whole overflow to here, that one's just right. Undershot a little on that one, but that's okay. And then we overshot just a hair on this one. So the reason for that is that he's got to spin the drum and eject concrete into the chute. And it's hard to stop at a precise point. So then to increase precision, he moves the uh, concrete down the chute with a little trowel. But if you, over, if you grab too big a slug with your trowel, why then you end up with an overfilled hole. Doesn't matter. This is, this is the one that had the shallow hole anyhow, so it's good that there's extra concrete ballast here. I'm just gonna throw some um, topsoil over this. And actually all the holes. So. That's over with. Over here on the driveway we have the homemade traffic stop factory. Wait, homemade factory, that's kind of contradictory. Anyhow, I'm getting tired of people turning around on my gravel and running off the edge and tearing up the uh, edge of the gravel and the lawn. So I'm gonna put these I'm going to flip these over, of course, to get them out of the tubs. But uh, I'm going to put a couple of them over there. They're 600 pounds a piece. And then there's a couple for this side. But then there was concrete left, so I just started filling buckets. Cat litter buckets. Five gallon buckets. Everything I own is filled with concrete at this point everything that I have at this location anyhow. So, that ought to be set up tomorrow. I'll flip them over. October 28th, 2020. I'm ready for concrete. All eight cubic feet of it. These little, uh, I don't really have good clearance on the uh, left side there, but I don't know what I can do about that now. This one's a little better. Unfortunately, some crap fell in the hole. I'm going to have to clean that out before concrete goes in. This one's okay. Fairly well centered. Decent cage. I'm not even going to show you the fourth one, it's so awful. This wind sucks! It's like a 20 mile an hour wind. It didn't really cause me any physical problems, but it sure is distracting. Alright, that's all I got to say about that.